I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty handy. Sure that this is where I like it. first tread I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot about because it's so low to the ground so I'm just going to mark its location and then I'm going to install these brackets and then I'll screw them down. Let's check that out. Perfect. We got a new caulk gun from uh, Newborn. They sent this out, 26 to one. I mean, who gets excited over a caulk gun, but feels pretty good. Using some PL. I thought about using the foam, the same stuff that I used on the floor, but I was worried about it expanding and kind of move. I, I didn't, didn't know if I could control it as good. So I'm gonna use the Loctite. This tread is actually going to be supporting the, um, the bottom newel post. That's going to get screwed right through the bottom with some GRK lags, same lags that we use to hold up buildings. So I feel really good about doing that. But what I want to make sure is I'm going to put a little bit of an extra beefy bracket here underneath. And, you know, it's low enough to the ground and I'm going to put it towards the back. You're not going to really see it. So it should be just fine and I think add a lot of strength. By the way, these are some uh, lumber lock structural connector screws, and these are made by MyTech. All right, so these first couple steps, because they were so close to the ground, and I didn't think ahead uh, and Craig jig all this prior to installing these stringers. I couldn't really get my Craig jig down there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Craig jig, mount this, and be able to get some uh, pocket screws up in the side. It'll be a nice strong connection. Not that this isn't strong, this is probably better, but I don't wanna see all those brackets going up the entire length of this staircase. Now, to be completely honest, I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out, so um, I don't know how the pocket hole screws are gonna look. This is how the manufacturer told me. He said, hey, this is how a lot of guys do it. They just Craig jig them from the underside. So that is what, that is what we're gonna do. You 
You know, that's not actually that bad. I think that'll work. All right, now I feel like I've got a good handle on what I'm doing. Check in to make sure that it sits as good as possible next to these stringers and looks good here on the wall. And then once I've got that, I can do my connection. But this one, I gotta do a little bit of sanding here on this corner. That's better. Okay, and then once I like it, then I can install my Craig Jig pocket holes. I just like to see where the tread sits the best on the, the stringer. That way I can make it a little thicker where there's a gap and a little thinner where it's tight so it doesn't squeeze out so much. This should only get easier as I get taller. All right. Be a lot easier, Kyle, if you would have put the screws in first. Ugh. This would have been so much easier if I would have done it all on the ground before I installed the stringer. so much quicker if you just kind of assembly line it and do a bunch of the same tasks all at once and I probably should just do all these Craig jig holes just get them all done but I like a little bit of visual gratification as I go otherwise it just gets monotonous I guess one thing I've also learned is when you're doing a Craig jig don't use an impact driver use an actual drill driver and you have a better chance of getting a good grab I always go until I feel as you're sucking in that screw, as soon as it gets to the bottom of this hole where it's gonna be about as far as it's gonna go, it'll make like a slight draw onto the motor of the drill, and then you'll see your material just suck together, and then that's it, you just let go. You don't need to overdrive it. I also found it a lot easier if I go ahead and put these screws in before I decide to put the stair stringer, or the stair tread on top of the stringer. This makes it a lot easier. Once I've got that in place where I like it, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold on to it with all my weight while I screw from underneath. Did 
Did you hear that? Just as I'm about ready to finish, you'll hear the motor get a draw on it, a heavier draw than normal. It's gonna bog down just a slight bit as it uh, sucks the material in. And then that's it, that's as far as I go. Starting to make our way on the home stretch now. You know, like most things, I thought, man, this is gonna be difficult, or I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Um, I stressed about it. And in the end, a lot of times, if you just start doing it, uh, you're probably gonna figure it out. And it will probably not be that bad. All right, well that needs to be a lesson. Make sure I put the tread on right. Last tread. Let's go, Greg. Last tread. I don't know if it's good or bad to get this done in one day, but I feel good about getting it done regardless. This has been one of those projects like a monkey on your back where you know you gotta do it, but you don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out because you've never done it before. I've never done a staircase like this. Didn't know exactly what I was gonna do. I'd done staircases, so I just was gonna apply that knowledge to this concept and just wing it. Well, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, took a little bit of time to get going. And we still have to cut down those newel posts to the right size, attach our rail. Those posts are gonna get mounted because these treads are so heavy duty. I did extra fastening at those tread locations. Uh, I'm gonna actually come up through the bottom with big 3 8 lags and replace uh, the need really for any additional structure. I think that that will suffice in my experience based on what I've done with those lags in the past and then we'll attach our handrail. So that'll be tomorrow and I'm gonna go help Greg wrap up in the garage. He's been working on that while I've been working on this staircase. So let's go check that out. It looks like Greg has been going to town here on the walls. He's getting the wall steel up. And I think he's as far as he can go really. We've got to trim out this door we got to do some, we got to install this door, trim it out, and then this door and trim it out. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get these last couple sheets on the ceiling so that can be completed. And I'm going to have to get some material to trim out windows and doors. But I think we can come down this wall. I'm not sure what we're waiting on for this one. What are you waiting on for that one, Greg? I just want to get the ceiling done first. Oh. Uh, before I started a whole new, because I have to stack that steel. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's, it's going a different direction.
You just tell me what you need, man. I don't, I can't really. Pull it up, try to let it down, maybe? I can't. You gotta somehow get. Here, get, get, push it, get the right side in. There, there now go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Gotta get it in this, this F and J right Yeah. You good? Well, I was doing some quiet work. In a sense. I didn't need my ISO tunes for a while. <laughs> Uh, you're going to have to go up. One second. Uh, that can go up. You got to buy Right on top. Outside? Yeah. Uh huh, that'll work. Okay, I gotta I gotta tighten this up first. All right, ceiling done. Sure brightens it up in here a lot. Glad we didn't go with a black ceiling. 